Hi, my name is Natasha and welcome to this very special episode of Talk of the Town. We're here today in Gerald's Cross, here especially for Inspiration Couture's very special event that's going to be hosting an array of not only beautiful outfits, jewellery, makeup and much, much more. So don't go anywhere, stay right here with me because we've got plenty more coming up on the show. I'm delighted to be standing with a lady who's one of the organizers of today's amazing uh, summer event. Hello, Shalini. Welcome. I understand you are indeed the owner, the lady behind Red Dot Jewelry. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Really pleased to have me for you here attending our event. Well, the pleasure's all ours. How are you finding today's event? Oh, it's been a fantastic two-day event for us so far. Lots of new interest. We also launched our new summer collection, which is full of colors and beads. And, um, you know, the response has been fantastic, and it's been fantastic working with the other two partners for fashion and for makeup. I can completely understand. So how did you become involved in jewellery? Oh, the journey started about two years ago when I left my job in the city. Okay. And um, jewellery has always been a passion of mine. So I had studied with the GIA mm -hmm. and um, from then took a trip to India and started designing my collections. And we've not looked back since. Incredible. And you do collections. But I've seen a lot of your work and we've, we've had plenty of views of the place and since we've got here. And I, absolutely, I must say your designs are absolutely stunning. Do you design everything yourself? I design a lot of the collection myself but also our workshops in India we have an in-house team of designers where they're working we give the themes and the mood boards and then they come back with the collections but everything is approved by me and what can you see being be summer being in summer now yes. and obviously everyone's thinking about getting married engagement parties and things like that are taking place what do you see as being the most popular designs for the summer I think with Indian weddings especially Traditional jewellery will always be there. I think for the main wedding day, that's what people are wearing. But for men, these it's warmer climate. People are really experimenting with colour and Asian culture is such. It's always full of colour, so you never get dull tones. And I think colour-wise, we've gone for lots of pastels and bright bright blues, pinks, reds, everything. For the what do you see as your best seller? What's your best selling item? At the moment, this particular weekend, it has been my fusion pieces, which is, you know, Gundan and Mina mixed in with uh, coloured beads, pearls, uh, lots of different mediums we've used in one piece. So you can wear it with your dresses as well as with your Indian suits and lengas, So And say, for example, one of my viewers is watching. She's a bride-to-be or she's getting engaged. She's got, she's got an outfit in mind, but she's thinking, oh, you know what, I've got my outfit, but I don't don't have the right jewellery to match can you oblige can you make a, a set for her or an, an item for her with the specific specification of colour and design and things like that that she may want well we have a large in-house collection that we work with and what we do is our designs um, because we've put so much thought and effort into them we stick with the designs but what we certainly do is bring in the colour through the beads and the carved stones so yes we do take bespoke orders uh, as long as we're given plenty of time and we do yeah we, we have lots of brides giving us there and the best thing is to come you get personal appointment we can see your outfit we can see the look you're going for and cater for you accordingly and how can my viewers get in touch with you well uh, I have a studio in northwest London where I live and so people we're online but the best way to see the collection is contact us through our either through our telephone number or through Facebook or through the internet so we're, we're on most mediums social media Thank you so much for being on the show. It's a pleasure to meet you. To Have meet a lovely yourself. weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm really pleased to be standing with another organiser here today at the Summer Boutique. I'm delighted to be standing with RTP. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. And I have to say, I am really, really impressed with your incredible work. I've gone through your catalogues. I've had a look. And how long have you been in the world of me makeup, I should say? Not long, to be honest. I've been doing it for over a year now. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's always been a passion for me. And then suddenly I just thought, maybe I should just give it a go. Okay. And here I am. Wow, and how, the journey's been difficult, easy? I've been very, very fortunate. I've got a great circle of family and friends, and they're very supportive. So it was word of mouth instantaneously, and um, yeah, it's just, it just, it's just gone on from there. How have you found the weekend? It's been amazing. 
the people turning up, a lot of them are in local people from Gerard's Cross area, and um, they just don't have anything like this to come to. So they are very appreciative of the fact that we've turned up. Um, it's a great marriage of three different companies here. We've got Inspiration Couture, we've got Red Dot Jewels, and obviously hair and makeup by myself. Mm -hmm. So it's been amazing, really well turned out. Well, how did you ladies meet and actually start? When did the process of today begin as, as such? Because it's a great event, and you've three organisers have come together under one roof, like you said, for the benefit of people around outside of London, because normally most events are held within London. Yes. So how did you, how did this marriage take place? Well, obviously Facebook, social media is just massive, so you know who's doing what. Mm -hmm. And um, I think all of us just took a keen liking to each other's brands online and how we marketed ourselves. We're all very passionate. Um, and apart from being passionate, we're very true to what we're providing, a service that is, you know, holistic. We try and do over and beyond for our customers. So hopefully I think that really helped us sort of appeal to each other's brands. So that's where it sort of started from. And then we met, had coffee, went for lunch. And we thought, why not give it a go? So, yeah. And how long has it taken to organise today? Or this weekend, I should say? To be honest, not very long. It was literally finding a venue, um, finding a market that would appeal, this would appeal to. And, um, and then we just decided, Gerard's Cross, there's so many of our customers that are from these ends, Buckinghamshire sides. So we just thought, let's try it out. Let's see what they say. And the feedback's been tremendous. Excellent. Now, I'm going around asking a specific question. We all know it's summer, whatever summer is in Britain anymore. It's not much of one, but we have got a summer. And I know a lot of people are getting engaged, getting married. And being a makeup artist, you obviously have to be on top of trends. Yes. What do you see are the most popular trends for the summer for brides to be, you know, girls who are potentially going to be getting married or engaged, I should say? My favorite color this summer is coral. Really? It's massive. Mm -hmm. um, you, it was all over Lakme Fashion Week in terms of makeup trends, colours, palettes used. Even in outfit colours, coral is the colour. And coral is a very nice colour. It goes with gold, it goes with silver, and it's a very classy, sophisticated, and very graceful. And especially when you're getting married, it gives you that blushing bride look mm -hmm. and a pretty bride look that people want. Um, so this season especially for summer, coral is my colour, is my favourite colour. Fantastic. And I see you have a beautiful model with you here at today's event as well. She's demonstrating some of your work. Can you just talk us through her look, please? Yes, of course. I mean, um, Sandhya here, she um, she was one of the runners-up for Face of Inspiration Couture, if any of you caught it on BFU. Um, she's basically dressed in one of Inspiration Couture's beautiful Lenga saris and Red Dot Jewels, obviously, jewellery, and then my hair and makeup. Beautiful. And we gave her a kind of an Ama Arabian look. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we gave her a very traditional, classy, updo look. And today, we thought we'll keep her hair down, some lovely curls, um, um, hair and makeup, as you can see, focus on the eyes, mm -hmm. shimmer on the eyes, very gold and auburn colours being used. Again, a coral shade of lipstick, mm -hmm. not totally coral, but a slightly um, richer shade, should I say. Mm -hmm. And then just going with a flawless look. And she has amazing skin as well, so she just... I mean, people are giving comments already saying she's looking very Arabian. Mm -hmm. And this is the kind of look a lot of girls want, young girls want. So whether it's Mendy, Sangeet, engagement, and even on the reception after the wedding day. So, yeah, it's a very complete look. Sandhya, how, do you, how are you finding the event? It's been really good. Like, we've got a really good response so far. So, you know... Yeah. <laughs> and how does it feel being a runner-up in the face of in the face of Couture, inspiration Couture? Oh, it was amazing. I really didn't expect it, and I'm so thankful to Anshu and everyone who gave me the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, got loads of like you know contacts from it, so it's good. Fantastic, and you make a beautiful model. I have it's to beautiful. say, <laughs> you're absolutely stunning, and I have to say, an, an incredible outfit. And it's a true collaboration of the of the work that's I mean, got taking place this weekend. It's an amazing marriage of, like I said, three three companies, um, three um, services that people seek for mm -hmm. under one roof. So it's great. It's going really well. Arthi, last and most important question, how can my viewers get in touch with you? Of course, um, loads of different ways. Um, www.arti-p.com or just contact me on Facebook. So that's search me RTPMUA. Fantastic. Yeah. Arthi, thank you so much. Lovely Absolute meeting pleasure. you. Thank Lovely. you so much. I'm joined with the very good-looking Jit here today at the Summer Exhibition. How are you, Jit? I'm very well, thank you very much. And how have you found today's exhibition? It's been a good exhibition. I mean, for the, for the guys, I think it's less interesting than it is for the women, but it's nice to be able to support the people that come and who you come with, so that's great. Excellent. And what would you say to guys at home who are perhaps a little bit reluctant to, you know, join their wives, girlfriends, etc. at events like this? Stay at home. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm only joking. No, actually, it's a good way to kind of get a feel for what your family and what your other 
half are interested in and the types of things that they like. So, you know, in future, you can make your purchases with a bit more confidence. Excellent. Thank you very much for that uh, input. I loved it. Thank you very much, Jit. As you can see, it's buzzing here at the Summer Boutique. We're having an amazing time, and I certainly hope you are. We've got plenty more coming up in the second half of the show, so don't go anywhere. Stay right here with me, Natasha Ashgar, on B4U, Talk of the Town. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that quick, short and snappy break. We've got plenty more coming up for you from the beautiful summer boutique here at Gerald's Cross. Without further ado, let me not waste any more of your time and let's find out what's happening on right behind me. I'm thrilled to be standing with perhaps what you may not expect to see at a ladies' event. I'm joined with Burham, a man who many of you may have seen on uh ITV's Take Me Out, doing his good old Gangnam Style number. How are you? Hi, Natasha. How are you doing? Yeah, brilliant here. I'm um, chilling with uh, Anshu and all her uh, crew here. It's packed. It is. It yeah. is. certainly is. And how have you been, I should say, since your uh, a debut on TV? Fantastic, actually. It was uh, just last week I got to do Gangnam Style with the, at the Queen's party. Wow, that's Gangnam impressive. Parties. Yeah, so it went really nice. Yeah. Did the Queen join in? Uh, unfortunately not. I was hoping so. But we did like a kid that kind of, the kid that, hello. <laughs> Kind of like from a distance, so it wasn't sort of, you know, <laughs> no okay. joppy, no puppy. Well, you, you have to expect some of that from the yeah. Queen. Give her credit out there. She's yeah. 80, you know. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah. coming back, how have, do you know the organisers of Inspiration Couture? Sorry? How do you know the organisers of Tibet? Oh, event? I was invited uh, as a guest to their um, sort of... Uh, there f- when they were finding the um, sort of face of uh, Corche, mm-hmm. uh, Inspiration Corche, uh, sort of early on in the sort of few months ago, mm-hmm. and so sort of got invited and uh, as a guest, um, and so that's how we've sort of connected up. Fantastic. Yeah, kind of like the whole Take Me Out sort of brought our worlds together. So, Great. you know, thanks to Paddy McGuinness, really. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and so you said that you're here today to look for an outfit for, a, a, yeah. for an event. Yeah. What sort of thing are you looking for? Um, looking for something like a nice a kurta or sharwani or, you know, something something traditional. I've got a, uh, a networking party to go to at the end of this month. And I just thought maybe, you know, if I'm there in my, so instead of my Western style, go in sort of a, a desi, you know, smart desi style, mm-hmm. it might be quite nice. Fantastic. Has anything caught your eye? Yeah, I was looking at this fantastic little number over here. Mm-hmm. It's uh, got a slim fit. It's quite nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's got a nice little shine to it. And it's got an open collar. How are you with open yeah. collars? Yeah, I like I like open collars. I mean, I've uh, like I think just it's just nice to have a little bit of the manliness sort of peeking out. <laughs> 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 That's one way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's really fantastic. Yeah, and I'm like, and I'm a fan of dark colours. Uh, although I do like brightness as well. Okay. Um, I think it's got a nice anything shiny, nice shiny things. And what would you say to men who are perhaps watching today and thinking, oh, you know what, it's a ladies' event. I mean, you can obviously say to them that you know what, it, it's an event worth attending like this, right? Absolutely. I think uh, as a is, as a fantastic event for networking and meeting new people and trying, you know, seeing some of the bright and fascinating uh, sort of new designs that are coming out in Indian fashion. Mm-hmm. I think it's great. Yeah, and the more you get out, you know, the more, you know, meet, meet new people and have a good time. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Can you do a little demo of uh, Gangnam Style for us now, please? Well, we could do. Do you want me to hold this or No, not? no, no. We can put that down. We can put okay, that down. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to distract you from your okay. work of art. Go on, then. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like bad because you haven't got the music behind you. So go on, brace well, yourself. We could try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. No pleasure to have you on the pleasure, show. Pleasure, Take pleasure. care. Thank you very, very much. I'm joined with three beautiful ladies here today at the amazing event we've got going on. Hello, ladies. What are your names? I'm Tina. Raki. Kartika. Well, beautiful names of beautiful ladies. How are you finding today's event? Yeah, really, really good. I mean, we've we've seen her work before, so just come back for round two, really. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And have you travelled from afar? Um, just from North Finchley, so in London. To North London. Yeah, too not bad. too bad, no. Excellent. And have anything caught your eyes yet? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really loving a lot of the jewellery here, especially the ethnic jewellery over there. It's beautiful. It's yeah, it's really good. lovely. And I can see we've already got one purchase in our hands already. Are you buying for a particular event or an occasion? Yeah, for a wedding in July. Whose wedding? Oh, yeah. A cousin. Oh, OK. Yeah. I was looking no. at which one, which one of you is low without getting married? OK, fantastic. And what, may, what attracted you to it? To the... To the this. piece. Just, 
well, a lot really. I mean, the colours go with with the sari I'm going to wear, and and just the kind of it's quite a unique design. Yeah, it's not something you'd find in the shops. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And would you recommend this event to your friends and family at home to come and visit? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Thank you so much, ladies, for being on the show. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks. I'm joined with two beautiful ladies here today at the uh, summer event. How are you, ladies? What are your names? You're very well, thank you. My name is Jay Shree. And what's yours? Sachita. And how are you finding today's event? It's very good. I mean, it's nice. I mean, we've just come in, really. Mm-hmm. So we're just looking around still. Have you come for anything in particular? Have you got any up-and-coming events? Yes, we have. We've got two family weddings. Lovely. So I've got a niece getting married and a nephew getting married. Fantastic. So are you, have you come in the hope of finding an outfit or jewellery or someone to do your makeup? Really, both. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> have you spotted anything you want your mum to spend money on? Um, I have spotted a sari, so we're going to see what happens and I'm going to have a look in a go. Excellent. And have you travelled from a distance to come here today? We've come from Wembley Park. So you've travelled a fair distance to get down here today to Jazz Ross. That's dedication for you. Excellent. Would you recommend an event like this to your friends and family at home and my viewers as well? Um, yes, I would if they're really looking for particular things. Mm-hmm. And have you had a good time so far? Yes, I have. It's been great. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Thanks. I'm joined with another visitor here at today's event, Dipna. Dipna, welcome to the show. How are you today? Very well. <laughs> and you look fantastic. Are you looking for anything in particular? Um, I was. We have a wedding in the family. In fact, it's my brother's uh, engagement. Not far away. It's about a month away. So I was just looking for uh, some nice Gundan pieces, which I luckily have found. Fantastic. And I uh, bought my outfit along to match it all up. And a perfect match, actually. Got a nice uh, tikka with the kind of pieces that go along this side. And then some nice big earrings to match. So really, really nice to come somewhere local and get all this stuff. Sounds lovely. Well, congratulations on the wedding up and coming. And would you recommend an event like this to your family and friends? Do you see yourself coming back to more events like this? Definitely. I mean, I was recommended um, to, uh, to this event today, and obviously I'll be telling others to obviously come here as well and have a look because there's so much choice and variety. Mm-hmm. And unless you come and look, you, you'll never know. And I found lots today. So, in fact, my mum has found a few things as well. Oh, so it sounds like it was a productive thorough shopping session for you. It was, it was, but I don't think my dad's going to be too happy. <laughs> they never are. <laughs> but thank you, Dipna, for being on the show. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I'm delighted to be standing with a lady of the hour, Anshu Saga, the lady behind Inspiration Couture. Welcome to the show. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well and I have to say I'm very, very impressed with the Summer Boutique. It's really kicking off. How has the weekend been for you? Because it's been running not only Saturday but Sunday as well. That's right. It's been phenomenal. Yesterday was very, very busy. Um, We're looking forward to having a lot more people here today as well. So yeah, it's been very busy. I had lots of sales, inquiries, people coming down to get the measurements taken for future purchases. It's been very, very good. Okay, so how did you get involved in the Summer Boutique? Well, myself, Red Dot Jewels and RTP, we sat down together and decided to do this summer boutique to obviously uh, showcase our collections of outfits as well as jewellery and RTP to obviously uh, talk to clients about her hair and makeup services. And we thought it would be nice to sort of hit different towns and cities um, because we all get so many inquiries about uh, coming down to to various towns and cities because obviously we are located in different parts of London. So it would be nice to sort of interact with our clients uh, elsewhere as well. So, yeah. Completely understandable. And tell me, you've got a beautiful collection of clothes. I've been in absolute awe of them since I've got here. But I have to ask you, as you know, it's it's summertime, whatever British summer we're having at the moment. But it is summertime. People do tend to get married, engaged, sort of get ready for the parties and birthdays. They tend to be kicking off right about now. So what do you see as your best sellers at the moment? At the moment, uh, the craze, I would say, is definitely the long dresses, the long anarchies. Um, a lot of them obviously do come with the bottoms, but they don't need to wear the bottoms because they're so long. So, yeah, definitely the long style dresses, anarchies. Um, the saris are always in fashion. I think there's a lot of stuff that uh, we have. And just generally in Asian wear, saris can never really be out of fashion. Um, you have different styles, different cuts, embroideries and that kind of thing. But generally, they will always stay. We just bring out different colours, different concepts. You know, you have the amazing sort of uh, lenga saris as well now, which is very much in. You know, I think a lot of ladies can't do the sari pleats or they just feel oh, the, the saris are too heavy, so let's go for something light. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a stonework is still in, but I think a lot of people are weaning off that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're liking the whole print, floral motifs. They like um, sequins more to stones. So, you know, there's, it, it really does depend on the person itself, but yeah. Can you show us some of your amazing collections? Absolutely. 
absolutely. I mean, what we do specialise is in Bollywood-inspired outfits. So I'd like to show you a couple of Bollywood pieces that we do have. Um, now, obviously, it's it's a semi-old film. We've got the Ban Baja Bharat um, Anushka Sharma number. Yes, the very famous one. So we've got that here. Okay. So it's a Patiala Salwar mm -hmm. and kameez, and it's obviously royal blue with the oh, mustard. Yeah, nice. yeah, with the mustard yellow uh, dupatta and the uh, orange and gold Patiala uh, bottoms. Love it. And it's Thank also you. very low as well, very much Anushka Sharma. It's very low. We can make it high as well. It's all down to the customer. So we do customise according to the customer's needs. Okay. And then we've got this beautiful blue, another blue sari. Oh, wow. And this is one that we made from an inspiration of a Shilpa Shetty sari. Okay. So we saw her beautiful sari and we recreated it with our own personal touch. So, um, yeah, we've got a bit of velvet, georgette, uh, some lovely diamantes, green velvet, some light stonework as well as sequins. So we've combined different sort of of fabrics and materials together to create this beautiful sari. Stunning. And another beautiful one is this beautiful pink one. Oh, wow. It's one that we again uh, created from a Rani Mukherjee sari. So she wore this sari at an awards function and it's uh, a brocade sari, again uh, with a lot of heavy stonework, a bit of velvet going on. We've got some net and georgette. So it's a very sort of combined uh, mixture of fabrics and materials. So yeah, that's another Bollywood one. It's stunning. I have to say, you're Collection's beautiful. Nowadays we're hearing, as you know, whenever you go shopping, whether it be to South or Green Street, Birmingham, Bradford, wherever you are, it's very expensive to buy a suit. And if you're anything like me who buys one outfit, wears it once and that's it, it can become very, very expensive. Is there any way, do you provide a service whereby people can perhaps rent outfits? Absolutely. And today is, well, yesterday we officially launched the service. It's a hire service that we do. So it's pretty much hire a sari, hire a suit. Um, we have a one-off fee for our outfits. And literally, when it comes to the saris, I think a lot of people are like, yeah, but what about the blouses and that kind of thing? So what we now have is a number of blouses from silver black, gold, as well as velvets. And these come in small, medium, large, and extra large sizes. And they also come in different styles. So we have the halter neck style. We have the uh, sort of the, the, cap the cap sleeves, the thin straps, beautiful backs, ribbons, the full the full works. So we have generic blouses that would generally go with all the saris. So come down to our boutique or even just hire a sari online and um, literally give it back to us within seven days and it's yours for that one event. So yeah. That's amazing. So how can my viewers get in touch with you? Simply uh, give us a call or go online to uh, www.inspiration-couture.com and obviously connect with us through our Facebook fan page. We are on Instagram, Twitter, all forms of social media so yeah that's the perfect way to connect with us and definitely come and visit us at our boutique in Potter's Bar Wonderful. and she was a pleasure to meet you thank, thank you so you. much for being thank on the show thank you so much for having yes, me yes. and coming down too thank you no thank problem you. thank you very much we've had an amazing time here today at the Summer Boutique in Gerald's Cross I hope you've had an incredible time in the show because I know we certainly have I'll see you again